Kelobonga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and it's that time of the year in the fall where we get another Mezco Con. Now, this is one of my favorite things to look forward to every year, as I'm always stoked to see what Mezco is going to give us, all the reveals and all the cool things we're going to get. I'm always just so happy about this. So let's run down all the cool things that we saw. So the first thing that we got was on Friday the 1st of October. This was an exclusive Captain Nemo that went up for pre-order and man, I had to pick this guy up. Look at the sculpting on this, all the aquatic detailing type of things with the interchangeable arm for a spear, uh, his awesome sword, the hair, the beard, everything about this just looks awesome. Now, if you look in this photo right here, he does have some type of manta ray uh, hoverboard. So I'm kind of hoping we get that and somewhere down the road. Uh, but what also got me interested is this picture with four crew members, which really gets me to think we are definitely get, gonna get some crew members in some type of box set down the road, which I'm all, all about. And uh, then just running down all the accessories that we get here again, the interchangeable heads, uh, the swords, the interchangeable arm, the little like blunderbuss type of gun. I mean, all the good cloaks and things like that we get, the hat, I mean, all this stuff looks really awesome to me. I've always been a big fan of like aquatic type characters that always felt very unique to me. So I'm really stoked about this. And hey, we've actually gotten a Captain Nemo from Mezco a very long time ago, but now we're finally getting him in the 112 Collective line. Now, something that I'm especially stoked about is it seems that we're getting a two pack of a very classic Batman and a very classic Two Face. I think this is awesome. A lot of people don't really necessarily like the Mezco flair that they give a lot of their figures and sometimes want that more classic comic book look. And this seems to give us that. It's really clean, very old school, very unique. And man, that Two Face with the orange and purple suit with the half green face is so iconic. I'm so freaking happy about this. It's a perfect type of two pack. You know, since we've already gotten a Batman and a Two Face before, uh, it's nothing cra crazy unique as far as character selection goes. But I love it for people like me who just want more Batman stuff, more villains. I think I freaking love it, man. I'm definitely gonna have to pick that up. Now this is something that I thought was pretty cool. We're actually getting a Roto Plush Pennywise from the Vintage It movie slash TV series. Uh, that is such a cool looking figure. Uh, the character is just so iconic. And I love when Mezco does horror stuff. Uh, this isn't gonna be for everybody, I get that. This isn't 112 Collective. This is just a, a pretty much a plush. But man, I love it, it looks really good. And if you're a big It fan and you love Pennywise the Clown, then this might be a nice pick piece to pick up for yourself. Next up, we got a new Godzilla 5 points 2 pack, where it was Godzilla vs. Hedera, or Hedora, I can never remember how to pronounce it. But man, I am a giant Godzilla fan, and these 5 points that Mezco has been putting out of Godzilla have been looking incredible. I am all in with these Godzilla 5 points, I think they are so well done, uh, and Mezco definitely makes in my opinion, some of the best, highest quality uh, figures based on that type of scale. Uh, and I think these look incredible, man. I want every monster from every movie possible. I will buy every last one of them. I think they look great. So day two kicked off what quite possibly might be my favorite reveal of the con for this year is a five pack of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Holy crap. They actually showed off Tommy the Green Ranger earlier this year, and I was so happy about that because I had been wanting to make Power Rangers for the longest time, and I wondered, well, hopefully they do more than just him. I want the whole team. And sure enough, they revealed a five-pack, which is insane. Now, my biggest thing is I wonder what bodies they're going to use for these figures, uh, which male buck they're going to be using, um, what, and wonder what female buck they're going to be using. I know they updated the Wonder Woman buck, but that's a very larger figure uh, for that female. So I'm hoping they do make a new body because, as we all know, Mezco doesn't make the greatest female figures. But man, I am so stoked to see all the accessories that we get, the heads. I'm hoping we get unhelmeted versions of each character. I am so stoked about this. I don't care how much it costs. Take my money. I want all of it and more and more Power Ranger teams. 
So the next reveal was pretty cool. We're getting a Tower of Fear playset utilizing five five points universal monster characters, which I think is really cool. Uh, definitely done in their own Mezco style, their own very own unique takes on these characters, which I think is really rad, and they all look so good. The paint apps look fantastic. Uh, but we're getting also a some type of display playset to display these really cool figures, and I think that's pretty awesome. Now, I love the Universal Monsters characters. I think they're all so cool. Uh, but what, seeing these things, I just can't help but think how awesome it would be to get them in the 112 Collective line. You know, we've gotten Frankenstein's monster before. Uh, we even got a Nosferatu. But I want more of these characters in that line because I think it'd be, they'd be so cool. And I know a lot of us would just eat them all up. They're fan favorites and they are must-gets for this series. So, Mezco, if you hear this, please give us those in the 112 Collective line. So the last reveal of the con was that we are finally, after so many years of us wanting this figure, we're getting a Doctor Doom in the 112 Collective line. And man, he looks freaking impressive. The soft goods look so good. The sculpt and the paint look amazing. I cannot wait for this. Uh, earlier this year, they solicited the Fantastic Four Pack. Um, which a lot of us are so happy about and they semi tease Dr. Doom uh, And now we're just getting a full-on reveal of it. This looks so good again This is one of those villains and one of those characters that a lot of us have been wanting in this line Since the very early days of the 112 collective and it looks like we're finally getting it and it looks like they killed it so I'm just really curious to, as to what body he's going to be able to use, how much range and articulation with all that type of armor and stuff. We'll see how that goes, but man, there's no denying that he looks awesome, impressive, and every last one of us is going to need this figure in our collections. So there it is, guys, my full recap of the Mezco Con for Fall 2021. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little surprised we didn't see other certain things, like I'm still waiting on my Murder Hornets Krig. We haven't even seen that figure yet, but anyways, skipping past that, we saw a lot of really cool reveals here, uh, really cool Pennywise, you know, surprisingly no Living Dead dolls, so maybe that Pennywise is the closest thing we're going to get to that so far, so eh, is what it is. The Five Points Godzillas, man, I personally love those, giant Godzilla fan, I'm all in in that whole collection, I cannot wait to pick those up. But I think for me, the Power Rangers is going to be the best thing. I absolutely love Power Rangers. They have been some of the things that I've wanted in the 112 Collective line since the very beginning. And we're finally getting them. And hopefully, fingers crossed, this means we can get other teams in the future. I think that would be really, really cool. But like a lot of you, I'm sure it's going to be Doctor Doom. You know, a lot of us have talked about wanting more and more villains in the line. The 112 Collective is very hero-centric. So getting a top-tier, top-level villain like Doctor Doom is something that we've all been anticipating and he's finally coming and he looks great man so i'm so stoked about that so feel free to drop a comment let me know what your favorite reveal was which you're anticipating the most and what you want to see in the future so please don't forget to comment like and subscribe stay nerdy my friends peace